There is one truckload in the shed. Seems like a ridiculous amount of work for one truckload. But it's in a windy location and we could not get to it to get patties on. So it's gonna sit in this terrible weather over the next three, four days. Might as well be inside where I can actually get my work done on them. Keep them out of the wind. I mean, a little bit extra effort, I guess, right? Leaves room for my nukes. Hopefully there's enough, there'll be enough space in here. I wanted to bring my nukes in anyways, just to protect them from the cold. They're a little bit smaller and not as much resources inside the nests. So I have to make sure that they have access to feed and I gotta get patties onto them. We definitely did not have time to get to those. So we're gonna bring them inside here, fill up the rest of the floor and let them sit and wait. They're gonna be in here for at least a week or 10 days. Absolutely ridiculous. This, we need a break already, come on. Oh, so much work. I mean, boy, oh boy. They're, you know, it's just around that four degrees. So they're at my face, so my veil on, but there's not much activity going on within the yard here. This yard we've been through two days, three days ago. Pale. I'm not gonna bother them too much. Just want to see if they're on their patty. There it is. Here. There they are. Looks nice. It always makes you feel better when you put so much time and effort into something to see the bees using it, so whether or not. Well. I'm certain they'll be using it within that brood nest that they've established. So that's where the protein's going. 
when you put something on, you put all the time and effort into something and they just ignore it or throw it out the front. You're like, Ugh. yeah, it's always a good sign. Time we get back. When we get back, hopefully, it's not 10 days. When we get back to them to put strips in, and we'll give them another pound or two pounds. That is just to hold them over. Hopefully, that's enough. God, it better be enough. That is a good thing. They have syrup overhead, still taking it. So whether or not they'll take it through this cold weather, I don't know, but I want to get as much syrup down into those nests as I can just to help bulk them up. Because we have cold weather coming through after. Uh, minus 10s for the next, and I get around that for the next four nights. I think I've seen a minus 15 there. I'm not sure if that was just a point of a newscaster's excitement. But that's pretty cold. So I want to make sure that they have enough syrup at hand because they have a lot of work going on inside. They have a lot of open brood that they've established. And it's going to take a lot of energy to not only develop out that brood, but to maintain the conditions within the nest. Because we don't want them to pull back. Whether or not that queen stops laying, or she won't stop laying, but whether or not the, uh, the workers you know, transition more of those eggs into larval state. That's, you know, whatever. We're going to probably miss a week of brood establishment there. It's just what they have in there now, we need them to be able to maintain that because they've poured a lot of energy into that nest. These are old winter bees. They pour all that energy into developing that brood and to pull that back, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. So, what can I do about it? Not a damn thing. We've done everything we can. We're doing more than we actually practically should. I mean, moving bees back in is quite ridiculous. But looking at the forecast, if anything, it's making me feel better. Keeping busy moving hives in that are more vulnerable. Just maybe help us with workload to carry on. Uh, where are those sunny 15 degree days. 